Understanding Retail Investors, the Backbone of the Investment Landscape In today's financial ecosystem, the term retail investor commonly refers to individual investors who buy and sell securities for their own accounts rather than as part of a larger institution. While these individuals are not professional traders, they play a crucial role in the workings of the stock market and impact investment trends significantly. This article delves into the nuances of retail investing, its recent evolution, and contrasts it with institutional investing. What is a retail investor? A retail investor, sometimes called an individual investor, typically engages in transactions through traditional or online brokerage firms, purchasing a range of assets such as stocks, bonds, mutual funds, and exchange-traded funds, ETFs. When compared to institutional investors, such as pension funds, hedge funds, or mutual funds, retail investors often make smaller trades. While institutional investors conduct transactions involving large blocks of shares, retail investors focus on their personal accounts, usually trading in smaller amounts. Key Characteristics Non-professional, retail investors generally lack the vast resources and expertise that institutional investors possess. Fee Structure Due to the smaller sizes of their trades, retail investors may incur higher fees and commissions, though many online brokers now offer no fee trading options. Diverse investment vehicles, retail investors frequently utilize retirement accounts, brokerage accounts, robo-advisors, and more in their investment strategies. The Retail Investment Landscape The retail investment market is extensive. According to U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC, reports, as of 2018, approximately 56 million U.S. households owned at least one mutual fund. This demonstrates that retail investors contribute significantly to the financial market economy. In modern times, platforms enabling retail investing have significantly lowered barriers to entry, allowing more individuals to engage with the markets. With the advent of mobile trading apps and an abundance of financial educational resources, even novice investors can navigate complex investment landscapes. Key Market Trends 1. Increased Participation The aftermath of the 2008 financial crisis led many Americans to move away from high-risk investments. However, since then, there has been a marked increase in households investing in stocks, with 70% of upper-middle-income families owning stocks as of 2019. 2. Popular investment choices, retail investors often gravitate towards well-known companies, commonly referred to as blue-chip companies, and frequently utilize ETFs as these provide instant diversification through a single investment. The Role of the SEC the SEC's primary mission is to protect retail investors and maintain fair market conditions. By enforcing regulations and promoting investor education, the SEC aims to instill confidence in individual investors. Consumers are encouraged to conduct their own research and remain vigilant against potential fraud. The Importance of Sentiment Retail investors have a considerable influence on market sentiment, which can be gauged through various indicators such as mutual fund flows, IPO performances, and consumer sentiment surveys. Platforms like TD Ameritrade and E-Trade track investor sentiment, revealing insights into the behavior of retail investors. Criticisms and Challenges Despite their importance, retail investors often face criticism. Skeptics argue that many individual investors lack the knowledge and discipline to make informed investment decisions. These, unsophisticated, investors can become victims of emotional trading, leading to market participant behaviors that may destabilize the financial markets, like panic selling during market downturns. Furthermore, retail investors often have to navigate a complex environment filled with competing narratives, misinformation, and high volatility, making prudent investing challenging. Distinction from institutional investors In contrast to retail investors, institutional investors manage vast pools of capital. Examples of institutional entities include pension funds, mutual funds, and hedge funds. These investors conduct extensive research and hold a wealth of resources that enable them to make informed decisions. 
Institutional investors contribute significantly to daily trading volumes and often have a more significant influence on the market's direction. Key Differences Investment Size Institutional investors generally trade in much larger volumes compared to individual investors. Regulatory Environment Institutional investors are viewed as sophisticated investors and operate with fewer protective regulations compared to retail investors. Conclusion The evolution of retail investing marks a significant shift in the financial landscape, enabling a diverse group of individuals to participate in markets once dominated by institutional players. Accessible trading platforms, increased financial literacy, and greater availability of information empower retail investors today. However, despite their growing influence, individual investors must remain mindful of the unique challenges they face, staying informed and educated to make sound investment choices. As the lines between retail and institutional investing continue to blur, retail investors remain a pivotal force ensuring the dynamism of the financial markets.